Hello, this is Eric Darcy Monster Garage. What we got here today is the Osprey airplane uh, vertical takeoff. We're gonna show you how it's fly this video in 10 for ages 14 and over. Let's start. Hey, this is Eric at RC Monster Garage again. What we got here is the Osprey, the V22. It's a vertical takeoff. Uh, they also call them VTOL. Let's show you what we got here. So we have a brand new airplane. Uh, we have a battery, 11.5950, even though they call for 850. Uh, this will be more stable. And we have our uh, DX6E remote. And what is very important that you have to program on off switch for your motor emergency and three position switch this is for hovering this is for flying uh, kind of normally without assistance and this is for professional for aerobatic let's leave it all the way down so we can start with hovering and going to show you first of all we're going to open the top and then we're going to put your battery inside make sure that the airplane stay stable i did not put the landing gear and we're going to put later the wheels the landing gear we don't really need them right now because we're not flying it as an airplane we're just going to hover so what you do you plug it in and then we're going to turn on the remote make sure your throttle is down and as soon as the remote will cycle and bind It did not bind right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna disconnect my battery and plug the battery again. Not touching anything, throttle down, and now it's gonna bind. Hopefully, that's it, it's bind by itself. And I have the position switch, and that I can check how the propeller is going up and down, so I know that it's working the right way. This switch control those propellers. If we look over together. This in, do that. Okay, so this is working. What we're gonna do, we're gonna take the battery and put it in. You usually want to put a small piece of Velcro so it's not gonna move. I did not put any, we're just gonna hover, so I'm not gonna go crazy with it. And then, after you put it in, you can put this, and now we're good to go. So, this is our throttle control up and down. This is gonna control the roll. This is the forward, backward, and this is the yaw. You look on the airplane right now, and you can see this is the yaw. Move the propellers. And then this is forward, this is backward. And okay, let's start it. I'm gonna start giving a little bit of throttle. The propeller will start and you're gonna to want to the yaw to the side, let's give a minute of power and start our flying. It's a couple trims. But overall, it's flying by itself now. Not too so stable. Let's take over and control it. Let's bring it close. Now we're just going to hover it forward, but it's not flying forward, it's just hovering. We're going to stop, and we're going to turn back, just as a practice.
and then we're going to do a quick landing. This reduces the power and gently bring it to the ground. And then we need off switch. Taking off again. Get like some ground effect and let's start going forward. It's take a minute for it to be stable. If if you play with it right now and just leave it, it's gonna keep going. Let's check the dual rate, maybe on a higher rate. Yeah, now it's more neat. We're gonna try to keep the straight line on the green. It would be cool to tie something and drop it from hard to do. You did that see that happening, huh?
birds. What? Do you want to go reverse? Be careful, there's a wall over there. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. 